Adam had yeah. this weird vibe. He was riding. He was riding in his car, and he turned around. Something told him to turn around. Do you believe in ghosts? Real ghosts. Real ghosts. It wasn't a conspiracy. It wasn't like something told him to turn around. The lady had transparent legs. She looks like a witch. A lot of people don't believe in ghosts. So what you do is you get up, you press the subscribe button, join the wickedest, cringiest fucking channel on YouTube, and together, we are gonna go find a real ghost together. Are you ready for this? Are you guys ready for this? Nod yes, are you guys ready for this? And I want you to show Crimson Nick some love. L-O-V-E, love. Happy Friday the 13th, motherfuckers. It's officially here. It's that day that Jason, that mass killer, be running wild. It's time to celebrate, and it's time to give my cringy motherfuckers that cringy vlog they've been fiending for. Thank you for that. I'm about to show you something that's way way more scarier than Texas Chainsaw Massacre. More scarier than Michael Myers. More scarier than any werewolf. Guess what? We have footage. We have footage. No. Let's start that over. So guys, a lot of people don't believe in ghosts. A lot of people say ghosts ain't real, but guess what? My buddy Adam was driving down an old dirt road and then all of a sudden he came to a halt. And when he came to that stop, something dragged him and something forced him to look over. And when he looked over, he caught a glimpse of a ghost. A ghost on camera, y'all. The lady had transparent legs. She looks like a witch. I'm gonna show you guys. Are you ready for this? Look at her legs. You can't tell me that her legs are not transparent. Look at that shit. That looks like some old gypsy bitch or something. That shit's fucking freaky. I am Crimson X. You guys are the Cringe Gang. And together, we are the Cringe Movement. Old, old, I'm talking about old school. Old school. Check this out. This is the original first ever. This is the first print. These were done on. Let me show you guys. These were done on Gildens. Ultra blends. This was the first ever. We only printed a um, hundred of these are in existence. This is from our first ever show. Only available at our first ever show. This is near almost impossible to find this. This is a very, very super rare mass murders. Now we did a reprint that was similar with similar type pictures, but not the same exact picture. Now um, there is people that still actually have this shirt. However, um, this is another old classic. This was back when I was um, going by King Crimson. This was when I was 2012 era. And this is, uh, of course, when Facebook was still popping. But yeah, this was when I had my real dreadlocks in. This was from the Witches and Warlocks shows that I done. So, yeah, man, this is great. He has some other ones, too. He has some, uh... He has actually some black shirts that uh, he dragged out of the vault, let's just say. Ten years later, we're looking back on this old Crimson X merchandise. So again, like I said, this is from the first ever show. The uh, St. Valentine's Day Massacre show. And this, of course, is from the Witches and Warlocks show. Which is just fucking awesome to even still have it this white, you know? Like I said, I'm I'm very once in a great while I'll see one of these pop up. Now, in 2013, we released the black shirts that had like the wicked hands on them that said "Mass Murderers." Uh, and we printed over a thousand of them shirts. I rarely see them anymore. Um, and them shirts used to be everywhere. Um, there is so many different styles and so many different uh, you know, different ones from the collection, and like I said, if you have this one, this is super rare, and super props to you, if you still got that fucking shirt. Blood spiller.